Get at us, Brandy and, and Whitney. Talk to us about this shit and don't lie, because I'm grading. Oh, no. No grades for me today. No, thank you. What's up, Whit? What up? What's oh, good? they got to commiserate Yeah, first. we got to commiserate. <laughs> teamwork, teamwork. Uh, you know, um, gosh, I don't know where, where to start. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bunch of questions question. there. I'm just saying. Get at me. Pick one. Pick one. First of all, when you put this value on the JJ. Are you attaching a monetary value because you said it's cheaper than most women? Sand t- most women attach the monetary value. It ain't us who put a price on it. It's you. Mm. No, not necessarily. Well, I- <coughs> we do. Not I was going to say, I've, I just had a conversation with a friend the other day. And what'd she say? This girl just bounced around from four different dudes, and he took her to Dubai. And in this one, she's not feeling him, but he owns 17 pizzerias, so she's going to be with this dude. And I'm like, does she like any of them? I don't know. I didn't ask. I don't even know her. I was just like, whoa, that's why I can't find a man, because she's... She so, got them all. She uh, got them all. So and she's access, charging for it. She's charging them <laughs> So you're telling me access to free pizzas... Is the price That's of the it. pussy? That's it, apparently, for that one. Price I, I the lie. <laughs> That's why you niggas is in trouble. Brandy, answer the question. <laughs> it's going to take a little bit more than a free pizza. No, okay. Just a little bit and, more. Yeah, I can But I don't attach a monetary value to that part of myself. Nope. You know, I, I don't I don't think that you can do that because I, I think that that in and of itself cheapens um, what I have to offer. By Wouldn't attaching. any price you place on your pussy cheapen it? That's why I said I do not attach a monetary value to it. That is exactly why. Well, then why is it so expensive? <laughs> now, I don't attach a monetary uh, value to my vagina, but my time, of course, <laughs> is very, very... <laughs> I'm just being silly here. That's an interesting question. Which is more valuable to men? A woman's time or her pussy? Because to me, a woman's time is just as worthless as her pussy. That's hilarious. I just have to be honest. It's just as worthless if she's not working with something internally. Right. If she's a vacuous, empty, cum receptacle, I'm not going to be very interested for long. Mm. After I've cum dumped, <laughs> I'm done. You have to have something more. And I think when you have something more internal, it increases the value of the pussy. I agree. Somebody speak on that. Three two three nine six five sixteen hundred. Get at me. Mm. Yeah. No. I mean, I think you know, we live in a modern society. Obviously, things have changed, and of course, people are a lot freer about their sexuality, men and women, which I think is a good thing because I think that women have been forced for so long to be repressed about our sexuality, and and it. It has totally just disregarded the fact that we are sexual beings too. We have needs. We get moody when we don't, when we're not getting what we need, um, whether you want to admit it or not. I know I do. Um, so it's it's nice that we live in a place where we can make decisions without being, well, at least in in Western society, without being beheaded or whatever um, for giving it up. However, I think that because of the um, sexual environment that we live in, it has kind of made it sort of cheap and easy. Mm. Do most women like to be choked? Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> That's personal. <clears throat> you got to ask on an individual <laughs> basis. <laughs> I'm asking you two individual women in this motherfucker now. Do you like it? Uh, I'm, um, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, it's cool. When was the last time either one of you had an orgasm? I'm not a, I mean, I'm a not real at liberty one. to discuss it. No, Bre- oh, oh, never mind. Go well, ahead, well, Whitney. Well, fuck well, it well, then. Well, you Whitney, right Go ahead. Go ahead. It. It's been a couple years. What? Like a real one? A like real a real one. one? Like a real one. Because I think I'm, I need to be mentally stimulated probably more like... We're going to give Whitney it's been a, a default... <sighs> B minus to start the show. Hold Thank on, you, right. Whitney. She gets an for A the minus truth. for that. <laughs> Just for the why truth. Is that an a? Why do you get it? Why do you get a higher grade yeah, for not having you an get orgasm? A, you get it. You know, if she gets the high grade for telling the truth, 
Oh, okay. Your punk ass starts off <laughs> with an F minus. I didn't lie. I just think, hello, okay, so again. Christ. Again, I come from a background where, you know, I'm sorry, but I wasn't taught that it was okay for me to just discuss my specific sexuality. You was just in talking about men. the new age woman and the free I said sexuality. Specific. What you want to do? One foot in tradition and one foot in modern time? You got it. Well, then that's, that's why exactly you're confused. I'm Talk not, about that pussy. I'm not confused <laughs> at all. I'm not confused at all. And I am not about to make my very specific individual. But, just, but I think that that let is me one of the things this. that has taken away that lady Ah, of it all. Okay, ah. every, I'm not going to sit here and tell you about my what happens in my bedroom just because you demanded that I tell you. I it's my come business. And mine is like, <laughs> me. I'm telling, I'm telling y'all so you can learn and figure it out. How about right. it? Figure okay, it out. Now she just said something really important and mm-hmm. it ties to one of your earlier questions and that is figuring it out. Um, mm-hmm. A brother named Joe Williams did a song many years ago that said, my baby ain't no jockey but she sure taught me how to ride. <laughs> Now, the reason that's important is sometimes you got to admit, you know, we don't know what we need to know. Uh-huh. And if you're a real man, you don't want to stay in the dark because it's just a matter of time before things fall apart. Mm-hmm. So what is it that men are missing in terms of the ultimate satisfaction of a woman? What is, yes. But I, here, I think we need to tell them, like, they can't read us. Like, that's why I'm very open and talk about it because, if look, let's do this, 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 and that way. If it's not, you know what I mean? Go like, ahead, I feel, Whitney. I feel like dudes, I'm, I, this might be wrong, but I feel like dudes always are satisfied when it comes to sex. But women, it you don't got, take much for us. It doesn't <laughs> take that much. Y'all can, you know, I don't, whatever. But you slide right up into that little, head, right, you're good to, uh, right up into that but, little pastrami wallet, and it's over. Y'all can slide into the thigh fold. Okay, it's, just, you know, it's all yeah. good. Huh? But now, but now, dudes well, think sweaty. guys. I feel like are greedy, selfish, they just come in, do their thing, and they're they're out, and you're like, what the, what just happened? This is, this wasted my time. Now you have two bills. I'm going to send you two invoices. This is I, you wasted my time and my, you know, whatever. Oh, I didn't wow. get satisfied. So, I mean, mm. talking about it to me is the only way to it's try to... It's liberating, right? And no, absolutely. Yep. In, 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 in the context of you're <laughs> so in a situation <laughs> with... Um, if you're in a situation with... What are you laughing at? Somebody said five and a half pumps. Count if you like. <laughs> 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 Hilarious. No, I think it, it on a private level, when you're with your lover or boyfriend, husband, whatever it is that you're with at this time, you guys should definitely be open to talk about. I'm not saying that that I'm so repressed that I'm not going to talk about sex. I'm just saying that I'm you're not... You're saying you're repressed a little bit. Got no, I'm not. I'm three, two, saying three, nine, that I'm six, not five, broadcasting the last time I had an <laughs> orgasm on radio that's going to be on the internet and YouTube that my aunt, my mom, and everybody else is listening to. They're going to call you and figure out how you pulled it off. <laughs> yeah. They're going to ask for a direction. Where's the GPS to that nut? <laughs> listen, listen. I believe that I probably came from a long line of cartographers. What is that? Ah, go deeper. No, y'all figure that one out. <laughs> See, that's the what, thing. What you kind know, of we, mystery? We, we, we're trying to solve some of these riddles today. We we want answers. You, okay, you, well, okay, answer this question. I'm going to ask you this question then. Just just tell me, because this has been my observation, uh, maybe Bobby's as well. Why is it that women tend to give the bad guy a little more leeway in terms of her you know, standards and, and beliefs about it? I mean, why does, why does it seem like the good guy always you know, gets, you know, he has to struggle He gets more. the kiss on the lip. I mean, a cheek. On the cheek, right yeah. here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think, I think that is because she's probably trying to build something real with the good guy, so she doesn't want the good guy to look at her as some come guzzling whatever you said but it's earlier. O- but kid. it's okay for the bad guy to see her that but way. She, she's not looking at him like, yeah, I'm going to have children with this weirdo and do this and the other. She's probably looking at him like, yeah, this is going to handle my itch real quick. And mm, then I'm going to take my time right. with good guy because I want him to value me and my vagina and all that. See that I can hold so, down the household. And uh, I just think it's a lie. Build something real. It I think a it's lie. a lie. No, I'm not, I don't think it's a lie. And I'm going to tell you why. 
Um, I agree with Whitney on that. That I is one of do. the reasons. Um, and it's like this. Just like I said, women have needs, too. And just like y'all might have something over here with somebody that's really special, y'all might go get that uh, cheap and easy meat, too. And sometimes... A girl can have a thrill from going out and just hooking up with that dude that she knows he ain't about nothing, but he's going to smack it up, flip it, and rub it down. And he's probably going to be more exciting about it. He's probably going to be more aggressive about getting it, which is also inherently exciting to most women. Like, there's a ton of reasons why the the bad guys get it and the good guys don't. Because the good guy asks for a kiss on the cheek. And quite what? honestly, there's times no, when did, a woman no, doesn't really want it. Okay, no, Brandy. No, 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 no. No, that's not. That they you called asked. you uh, Brandy Broken Records. Okay, this is coming from somebody who's called himself a wet hairy bush. So, you know. <laughs> dude, is that, that is? Yeah, I've, I've asked men. Look, I'm, I'm tapping into the men's side of the same question. Men do the same. I've asked, like, married men or men who have been in committed, committed relationships who have cheated. Why did you do it? I was bored. I wanted something to do. Like, so why why even have that if you can go get six of these little, you know, ninety nine cent value meals real quick? Why do it? And, uh, again, same, same I think thing, it just right? goes back to I see it as a lie. Why do you think <laughs> it's a lie? Because I think women put on airs and become pretentious with all of the. So she can make the dude she wants to want her. Of course. Right. To be like, oh, that's a good woman. That's what she. But in do. reality, she really wants what she has with the bad boy. But the bad boy may not have his shit together, quote unquote. May not have the resources she wants. May not even be the type of guy she wants, you know, to have a child with, right, or build right. a family with. So I think she puts on airs, makes this dude jump through unnecessary hoops. When she could just give him the ass they are necessary. right up front. <laughs> they're necess- they are necessary because apparently it's a learning experience. If he has to jump through them to get to the get to get to it, then So is the lady persona a lie? Three two three nine six five sixteen hundred. You guys have been lying for many years. We're gonna bring in a real woman <laughs> to speak the truth. The girls are Veronica, hey. the author yeah. of blackmastery.com. Hi, Veronica. Heavy oh, science. Hi. I want you, hi, ladies. Beauties. ladies. Hi, beauties. Hold on, Professor uh, Conway. <laughs> yeah. I want the lady. I have to instruct the ladies here. I want you guys to take out your pens and pads and take some notes. <laughs> Veronica, please <laughs> help us through this. the quagmire We're of this conversation. Okay. <laughs> it was a couple of things. First of all, I want to address this issue about why women respond to the bad boys. Please. See, he's wild, learning. and they're he's usually fun. running a lot more mass, natural masculine energy than no, the good guy is. The good guy is usually a little bit more repressed. And I'm trying to learn some And so she automatically responds to his firepower that he carries in his genitals, yep. mm, even if yes, she's not ma'am. willing to admit it. I just said so it. women respond with their bodies. They try to make decisions with their minds and their, and their logics. But really, they respond with their bodies. And so if a man is carrying a lot of firepower, she can't help but respond to that. She can't help but get wet. She can't help but be magnetized to that. So that's the first thing. Yeah. Uh-huh. Wet it up. I'm sorry. <laughs> And most and most bad boys, why are they bad? That means that they are not accepting the limitations that society says is real. They're wild. Mm-hmm. And a woman is going to respond to that, you know, just unconsciously, subconsciously. But in terms of most men, I think men know very, very, very little about sexuality. They love to have it, mm-hmm. and they love to offer it, but most women aren't that crazy about the sex that men are offering. Give us a couple of uh, examples of what men think they know but really don't and should know. Like, what is the one thing a man should know about really pleasing his woman off top, right out the gate? Well, the, off, off the gate, out of the, off the top of my head, it's just she's, she's not a microwave. She's a crock pot. Mm. And so everything that men know about modern sexuality, where, I mean, where are you actually getting your sexual education from? If it's from porn... <laughs> Then what does porn teach you? It's all about friction and it's all about how you show up up as Superman and you just pound her really good. None of that has anything to do with the reality of how a woman is, how a woman functions. 
Brandy disagrees. So Brandy thinks that pussy need to get need beat up. More time. They need more patience. They are they are a vast universe of feeling and emotion mm. and sensitivity, mm. and most men are missing it because they're so busy with the pump, pump, five and a half pumps or whatever that is. Wow. <laughs> Wow. wow. And, and, and so, and so the way, the way that you know this, I mean, I, I feel so, my heart breaks for what Whitney just said. We have this beautiful young woman who hasn't had an orgasm in a few years. What does that mean? That means that the men that she's engaging with, the men that many women are engaging with, have no idea how to do that. Wow. Right. I mean, that it's kind of criminal to me that she, that and many women, it's not just her, find themselves in that condition. Wow. It is criminal. It is that is just wow. an wow. absolute crime. It's actually worse than that because most of the men didn't know that they didn't satisfy her because right. she didn't tell them. Well, mm. they don't even care. That's right. Most men don't even think about it, really. No, I've they, gotten I, mine. I, 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 I beg to differ. Most I men say, don't. They, they, most men won't admit it. But they really would like to know they got the job done. And they would like to know they got it done as opposed to thinking they got it done. Because they came back to us and told them, man, oh, I got that. But you know what's so interesting? <laughs> and the truth of the matter is, no, they didn't. But, but you know what's so interesting? Veronica outlined the complexity of femininity. And I think sometimes with men, we're looking at the pussy and her and all that comes with her as this biological, emotional Rubik's Cube. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of like, fuck figuring all of that out. Where's the hole in the back? <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to insert and bust off, and then she's going to have to figure out what she need to figure out. That's so sad. I'm just saying, right. that and is the a prevailing thought. The only reason men settle yeah. for that is because they have no idea what she's capable of. In other words, and she has no idea what she's capable of, so she doesn't know of a two-hour orgasm. What should she ask for, Ver Veronica? What she's should she ask for? Well, she, so, so first of all, so first of all. Because if any woman most, asks me for a two-hour orgasm, one of the most important uh, things uh, that a man uh, can orgasm, begin to I'm practice like... is presence. Most men are sitting in a fantasy. Mm -hmm. about either some porn star or some chick or his performance. They're in a fantasy. So if he's in a fantasy while he's in the act with her, then he's in his head and his, mm. his awareness and his presence is actually not mm. in his body. Mm. So if he can begin to meet her with some presence, because where attention goes, energy flows, so mm. if he brings his attention to his fingertips, his attention mm. to the head of his penis, his attention wow. to what he's feeling when he's engaging with her, if he can get out of his head and get in his body, then it's kind of like what Bobby said. It's like, well, we don't really know what's going on with her because she doesn't tell us. If you're present... She doesn't have to tell you. Exactly. You'll be able to feel every shiver, every bit of surrender, every bit of fear that may come up and crying and emotion. You'll be able to sense and experience that if you are in your body and not in your head. 